Well, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. I've got a couple new products to show you today, and I'm actually going to have a new product probably every week for the next few weeks. I've uh, finally got a machine shop that's really working closely with me. I Frankenstein out the parts. They take it to the next level and make good products. Uh, with that said, I'm going to have the BWS 45 plates available very soon. I actually have the first hundred in my hand, fixing to take them off to anodizing. But this today is about the Zeus 72. The, for the Zeus 72, first off, I now have a very lightweight 595 grain pellet, low cost at a buck each. So I have these available as of a week ago. And what I'll be shooting it out of is my Zeus 16 inch with my new muzzle brake. Tactical 416 stainless steel muzzle brake that'll be available as of tonight. Real sharp points at the ends. Uh, each one will come with a bottle of Loctite for locking it in. The Loctite is on the way. Well, I'm going to start selling them tonight. The Loctite will be here in two or three days. So in two or three days, I'll start shipping them out. Uh, since there is no set screw, you lock it in place with Loctite, leave it overnight, and then it's set for good until you break it free. So very nice, high quality, uh, door clearing style with the little sharp points at the end. Uh, muzzle brake. Uh, these fins, of course, on a muzzle brake are going to keep the kick down a little bit. So very, very nice looking, high quality muzzle brake. And then uh, my new pellets. Now, <clears throat> what I'll probably do is because I'd like to get these pellets in people's hands and see what people think of them, I'm gonna come up with a special. Now this muzzle brake by itself is gonna be pricey. It's stainless steel, custom, real high quality. They're probably gonna be about 67.50 each. However, uh, what I'll probably put up on my side is uh, 10 or 12 lots that if somebody ends up buying four packs of these, they get the muzzle brake for free. So I'll look for that later tonight. <clears throat> now what's behind here? That is a mannequin. It's a CPR mannequin that's been filled with ballistic gelatin. So to test this thing out, I'm gonna see if Mo Larry Curly here can stop this, uh, how far it'll go into these. So you've got what's uh, on the small side of a normal human head used for CPR, filled up with uh, ballistic gelatin that's hardened. So each one of these is nice and solid. And we're going to give this a try here in just a second. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna try to pull this out without turning off the camera. The first guy got hit real hard, created such a uh, hydrostatic shock in there, it actually split this open, went in and out. In right there, out right there. In, <laughs> out. So you went through all three, it just skinned the top of the bag there and it planted itself in the wood here. So when you make a pellet lighter, it travels a lot faster. So two takeaways here. If you have a Zeus and you want it going faster, go with a lighter pellet. Secondly, if you're ever having a situation where you only have a few pellets left and people need to share, well, here's a good opportunity because three guys got to share one pellet. It would have taken all three of them out and still had some energy left to use. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.